said, oh, you can't have a Hillary film, which is clearly unconstitutional. So they expanded it using a ruling that was good to just say unlimited giving foreign companies, foreign corporations can come in and take over even further. But there's still the restrictions on what individuals can give. Absolutely. So, so it's actually unfair for the corporation. Stay there. Let's talk more about that on the other side. Uh, but, but again, that's the system panicking, pulling out all the stops uh, to try to pile on more money to shut us down, to shut us up. But the people are only going to wake up that much faster because things are falling apart. They can't paper over that. Stay with us. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. One major world crisis away from having a totalitarian type of system. The main event is the, the wholesale destruction of the world economy. The push for every nation on the globe to identify and number all of its citizens. Friends, I hope that you will order Shadow Government from Infowars.com. We also have some specials where you can get some of our other films half price when you order Shadow Government. A new level in production quality and in information. It exposes how a cashless society surveillance beast grid of total uh, control is being put into place. This film needs to be seen. Everybody needs to get it. So order yours today. Show it to your friends, your family, your church, your neighbors, your boss, your employees. Shadow government, ladies and gentlemen. Get your copy at InfoWars.com today. Shadow government. It gives Big Brother a black eye. Available at InfoWars.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The Supreme Court removed limits on corporate labor donations to campaigns, but the way I read this ruling, they did not remove the $3,000 limit on citizens. So we, as human beings, don't get to give more because that's what really threatens them. But offshore corporations, I mean, that's treason right there. And many people have written editorial articles saying that is treason by the Supreme Court. But I remember criticizing them, saying they couldn't have a Hillary film that was funded by a corporation. That's one thing. But to say unlimited, offshore, campaign, openly, uh, I tell you, it's amazing. It's amazing, uh, Reverend Manning. Well, essentially what that ruling says, Alex, is that only corporations will be able to vote. Corporations and their surrogates that 
if you belong to a corporation and you you are part of the the shareholders of that corporation, then you can vote. Or if you if you are an individual citizen, uh, such as you and myself and many others, your vote will not count. It, it your vote will be dependent upon how much money you can you can donate. And of course, you'll be limited in what you can donate. Therefore, you'll be limited in who and how powerful your votes will become. That's exactly what that does and says. We're being castrated. Where do you see this going? I see this. I, 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 I believe that the Obama administration, uh, the world government powers that exist and that have existed, believe that global power is more possible now than ever, that they can unify this planet, if you will. They can make it a prison planet, if you must, and that there's really no one or nothing that can stop them right now. They don't see anything out there that can stop them. The, the only thing that they're trying to avoid right now, now I do believe that uh, martial law would be a great way in which, uh, well, if there was a, an uprising or a revolt or a re revolution, that was not well planned. It would give martial law and the power and Obama the power uh, to rule from his throne without any question. However, what they are trying to avoid, and the reason why they're moving, why they're moving at breakneck speed, they could they could move more conclusively. They're just trying to avoid people coming out with the 250 million guns that are in homes of America to overthrow this movement. But they believe right now they're in control and there's absolutely nothing that can be done, nothing that can stop this global takeover and the amassing of global power into the hands of just a few people. They really do think America and the world is done. And this is a scientific dictatorship. It's really happening. Uh, but if they don't think the public will go along with it, they will slow down. And the good news is their health care is in trouble. Their Copenhagen is in trouble. It's coming out all the U.N. fraud stuff that dwarfs Climate Gate on a daily basis now. Uh, their flu hoax fell apart. And I think that's happening not just because the public's awake and angry and active, uh, Reverend Manning, but because police, military, bureaucrats, people who are in there seeing this, they're quietly not going along with it. They're leaking information. They're saying no. And, I mean, I think we're in very, very dark times, but at the same time... Uh, well, you know, I think what you just... I'm, I'm very much aware of what you what you stated, how, how clear that is, that people within the military, within the police, within the... Uh, and within the, the structure of the government recognize what is happening. They have not been made a part of it. They will not be made a part of it. And for those reasons, it, a part of the process could be slowing down. Um, I had one time thought that perhaps they may have lost interest in using Obama as a front man. The Copenhagen uh, failure caused me to think a little bit. I didn't have any, any conclusive evidence that perhaps they thought that they would slow down on him and perhaps pick another person to be the leader of this group. But the other thing is that, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure that the American people uh, understand. Well, what I was, would say is that perhaps that what you're discussing right now we probably ought not to discuss uh, because there are a large number of people within the military who've been made aware of all of the conspiracies that are happening and this global takeover, and uh, we might be putting them at jeopardy at some point. I'm well, that's just it. About that because uh, I mean, but, but I mean, that's just it. If you expose the program, which we've done with the alternative media, which is why they want to shut down and curtail the web and free speech, if you expose them and we're telling the truth, even if people don't wake up now, as it unfolds, they will wake up because it's almost like prophecy. We have their game plan and you lay it out beforehand, and then it happens as we say, that really gets people's attention. And I think that's what myself and many others and you over the decades getting the truth out has, is devastating to them because I say it every day because it's so true. Lies have to be reapplied constantly, constantly have to be reapplied over and over again. But the truth just, just, just burns through the lies and so we've only got to wake somebody up. We've only got to show them how they've been lied to. And then they've opened their eyes to the larger fraud. 
Um, well, you, you know, you, you, the, the where we are standing, if you, you look at what's happening in Europe and how Europe is being co-opted and uh, how they, they've lost all their sense of democracy and uh, freedom of speech. Um, and, and, and the last bastion, of course, was here in America. Um, we were indeed the, the ideal. We were the, the city on a hill, if you will, in, in terms of democracy, freedom of speech. And, and, and the best.